Today, we're going to talk about breathing for the oboe. Obviously, we need to breathe to live, and we need to breathe to play. However, the oboe requires less air than a lot of other wind instruments. So what happens is when we're playing our solos, we, we uh, take in too much air. We breathe and we play, but we don't get rid of all of it. So we breathe again and we play and we don't get rid of all of it. Then we breathe again and we play and we end up feeling like this. If you recognize this feeling, you're a typical oboe player. So you have to exhale and then you feel so much better. So what I want to do is give you some, uh, some ideas about how you can relieve that and not have that problem while you're playing. Uh, for the first, I want you to just sit and experience how you feel just sitting. I feel fine, right? I'm not breathing too hard. I feel very comfortable. I call this your middle state. From my middle state, I can inhale. And then when I exhale, I'm back at my middle state. So I go to a higher state of more air and back to my middle state. Now I can go to a lower state where I exhale and then inhale and I'm back to my middle state. So we kind of have three levels um, of, of feeling as far as I can tell when we play the oboe. And I want to be at my middle state as much as possible. So uh, when we start playing, they tell us all the time, all these great teachers who want to help us, that we have to take a breath. Now, um, obviously we have to live and we have to be able to blow air, but we don't really need that much air. I would like you to play a note without breathing. It's going to be uncomfortable because we're all used to taking big breaths, but I want you to try really hard. So instead of going, <gasps> I want you to not breathe. So you have to concentrate. Don't breathe, don't breathe, don't breathe. And you'll see you can play for quite a while. You, you didn't even realize you could. It might feel a little strange, but you can do it. So after you practice that a few times, I want you to go a step further, and I want you now to really blow air out, exhale, and play a note. Same thing, you're gonna to wanna to exhale, and then go, but you have to really concentrate, no breathing in. And you'll see you can play for a while with no breathing in. You might feel very uncomfortable. So if you feel uncomfortable, you're doing it well. So once you can do that and you feel okay exhaling, the exercise continues where we have three beats. We play a half note for two beats, breathe for one beat like this. So you see, I'm alternating. I blow out all my air, play, breathe in and play. You should practice that for a few moments and see that you feel very comfortable with that. Once that feels very comfortable, then we can make a scale with that. I'm going to play an F major scale and see if you can tell that I'm alternating blowing out, breathing in when I breathe. And then when I'm done, I'm not out of breath. I feel very comfortable. So I'd like to apply this to a piece of music you all might know, the Handel Sonata Number no. 1 or Sonata in C Minor by George Frederick Handel. This is a very common piece that, that students play for solo and ensemble. And the second movement causes a problem because with all the playing, we inhale all the time and we never relieve our air. So I want to show you a place where you can do that and I'm going to start in measure 31 and see if you can notice that I exhale as well as inhale in a variety of places. So if you find places in your music 
where this where you can put some exhales in your music it will greatly relieve your breathing and you'll be on your way to feeling way more comfortable playing at your middle state when you play your solos <laughs>